Hi kids, it's me, your art teacher, Mr. R. Today we're going to do a project that has to do with a great painter. His name is Donald Odita. So Donald Odita is originally from Nigeria, which is one of the largest countries in Africa. He has been in America a long time. He's an American, just like you and me. He does beautiful abstract paintings that are really colorful. So abstract, if you remember, just means that it's made up of lines and shapes and color. So to do this, you will need a ruler or something else you can use to make a straight line. Um, so a book, a notebook, a ruler, I'm sure you can find something. So what you're going to do is you're going to place your ruler flat on the paper and you're simply going to draw slanted and straight lines from the top of your paper to the bottom or from the bottom to the top. So you can have your lines crisscross, they can be at a big diagonal, they can be slightly diagonal. It doesn't really matter what you're after is to make some interesting kind of long shapes that you will then color in. So just try to break up any big space you might have with a straight line. You want to have some interesting patterns that you can make by breaking up these spaces. So you don't have to go crazy with the lines. There doesn't have to be 80 or so. I probably will end up doing about 10, maybe 15 lines. That's plenty. But you do it your way. You try to just make what looks good to you. So one of the things I do is not going from all the way through with a line. I might take a line from the bottom and then stop at one of the lines that's already in there. So that's a technique you can use also. Mostly though, you're just taking the ruler and you're just kind of making lines, whatever looks good to you. All right, I am almost done. This is looking pretty good. Maybe one last line. Let's have a look. Pretty good. So you can make some last minute adjustments. If you see a space that you think needs a line, well, just add it in there. Okay. So when coloring, I have included a color wheel on the page that this movie is on. So with a color wheel, you can choose complementary colors. So these are colors that are on the opposite side of the color wheel. So you could have orange and blue. Or you could have analogous colors, which are next to each other on the color wheel. So you would have orange, then you would have a red-orange, then red, or you could use yellows. These are good color schemes. You will notice that the top of the color wheel is all warm colors, and the bottom are cool colors. So just play around with colors and that's all you're going to do. You're going to pick colors and then you're going to try to fill in each one of these shapes with different colors, whichever looks good to you. So I try not to put any colors that are the same right next to each other, but I do do the same color in different little sections. That way you can use the same color, but they're not overlapping or right next to each other. And that's it, guys. You're just going to color it in, and you're going to end up with a beautiful piece of abstract art like the great painter Donald Odita. Okay, good luck with this, guys. Bye.